everyone, today we want to show you the Vendeboss pot freesias. We will show you our Pico and Nano series of the pot freesias. I want to start with the Pico line. It's a new series what we introduced this year and it's suitable for the 4-inch four, uh, four pot or the 9cm pot. Uh, these are all new breedings and we tested them that you can grow them without any support material on a 9cm pot. In this uh, pot is a 13cm pot. You see they are very compact. Uh, with more light they are even more compact. And uh, you can gr grow like four uh, corms in a pot. And uh, the fragrance is fantastic. Um, also for our uh, breeding at this moment, we are testing every uh, single uh, breeding number or on a 9 cm pot or 4 inch pot and on a regular pot. Uh, this is uh, very easy. We have now three colors already. We have blue, white and yellow. I will show you the blue one as well. This is the Verona. This is the Torino and the Luca. Uh, these varieties um, uh, we will uh, introduce from, from January 2021 to you what you can grow on a 9 cm pot of a 4 inch one. We will show you our newest breeding in our Nano series. Uh, we focused on all the colors that we have. Uh, and for the new Nano series we mainly focus on the, the fragments of the flowers, the intensity of the color, and as well uh, the more flowers per plant it will give. Uh, we selected at this point four uh, uh, varieties and I will show you a little bit more. This is one of our newer, newest variety. It's called the Parma. It's a dark uh, red color with a beautiful uh, fragment and a good plant habit. It's a, it's a very popular color. Then I will follow with the Ostuni. Uh, this is the white freesia. It's a, and as you can see, it has many uh, side shoots. So it, and these will all flower at the consumer. And it has a very long uh, uh, shelf life and ad adding value. Uh, this is one of our newest uh, variety uh, with a dark yellow. It's still a, a, a breeding number, so we don't have a name. But we are very satisfied uh, about the, the quality of this uh, new variety. And uh, this will come uh, up in a, in a couple of years. And then I will have the, the blue. It's called the Livorno. Uh, it has a good uh, flower size. It's light blue. Uh, and as well, the Livorno is uh, very... Uh, uh, positive about as many flowers that you will give and as you can see it's all grown without any supporting material and it's very tough so it's easy for transportation and it gives an adding value to your product this is our current nano freesia collection we have a blue one named by Ancona a white one named Florence a yellow one named by Ver uh, Viareggio uh, a red one named Bologna and a pink one named Bari uh, we can supply uh, this assortment to you from week 46 till week 26 uh, whenever you're located on the world uh, because of temperatures. Freesias is a cold crop and this collection likes to have uh, a certain level of sunlight to get it compact and uh, that you can grow it without any support material. Uh, you can see that uh, these uh, varieties are almost all the same length so you can combine it very easy in a tray. The cropping time is around 10 weeks uh, so you can easily uh, calculate whenever you have to deliver it to your customers. Hopefully you enjoyed this video with our Nano and Pico series. Thank you very much for your attention and we hope to see you soon.